of the P6 Trainers and Implementation Consultants here at TEPCO. Today we're going to talk about understanding the P6 user preference for time distributed resource calculations. In P6 I've opened one of our training examples which is a refinery turnaround file and you'll notice right now I have the histogram set to months and I want to go up to edit user preferences. What this TEPCO tip is on is the resource analysis tab here under user preferences, specifically the interval for time distributed resource calculations. Right now I have this set to month. The options are month, week, day, and hour. I'm going to go through these one by one just to give you an understanding of what happens in the histograms if you don't have this set properly for your particular project. So we'll start with a month. Now when I look at it by month, everything is fine here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to week. Now you're going to see that all of my resource data lands on the first week or the start of the month, even though we do have time distributed data throughout the entire two or three months that this turnaround is going on. You'll notice that we have blank spaces here. That's because we have to take our user preferences and now set it to week. So I'm going to go back to the user preferences and change the interval for time distributed resource calculations to week. And I'll close that. And now you'll see that each one of the weeks fills in. Now I can zoom in a little bit more down to the day level. And you'll notice that each one of the bars lands at the first day of the week. So it's all piled up on the first day of each week. It is not spreading the data throughout the entire week. So again, I'm going to go to Edit User Preferences. And I'm going to change this to day now. Now we may get a warning telling us that by changing this it could affect our performance. I've never personally noticed a performance being affected, but something to be aware of if you are running uh, very large project files, you may see some performance issues. But like I said, it's pretty rare. I've never really seen anything, but I have heard other people uh, tell me that they have. So we'll go ahead and click yes, and I'm going to close this. Now it fills it in for each one of the days. In turnaround scheduling, we schedule by hours. By default, when we install P6, this setting is automatically set to day. But when we go into turnaround scheduling, we schedule by hours. Now, a lot of turnaround groups and schedulers just look at their histograms by day, so this is not a problem. However, if you want to look at your histograms by shift, then you would need to set this actually down to hour, and I'll show you why. I've currently set up a shift calendar under Enterprise Resource Shifts. I built one called for turnarounds uh, day and night shift, and I'll let you take a look at that. I'm going to hit modify here. So basically, I've set up a two shift resource calendar here starting at 7 o'clock in the morning, and the second shift starts at 1900 or 7 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now when I zoom in, it's looking at it by shift. So you'll see on the time scale here we have 7 and 19 are repeating. That indicates the start and stop times for each shift. But you'll notice my shifts are skewed right now. I have to go to Edit, User Preferences, and I need to change this to Hour. And once again, I'll get this warning saying that performance could be affected. Go ahead and click Yes to that. Close that. Now each one of the shifts fills in. I do like running histogram graphs based on shift when I am doing turnaround scheduling. It just makes things a lot simpler. I don't have management asking, well, how many people do I need or how many hours are we doing in the next shift? If I have my histogram set by day, I can't really give them a good indication of that. And I've just found that in turnaround scheduling, displaying the histograms by shift seems to be a much simpler approach. I'm going to set my user preferences back to day. I'm going to zoom back out today. The histogram is, is showing correctly, and this is what we want. And like I said, if I zoom in again and I look at it by shift, now I'm missing. And this is because the hours for that particular 24-hour period are technically piling up on the front end of the day or on the first hour of the day. So I'm going to show you how that looks right now by zooming in to the hour level. And this is really what happens in the background, is you can see all of the hours for that day are piled up basically after midnight. If I go back to edit user preferences, change this to hour, now I can actually see my histogram down to the hour level. We don't typically look at the histograms down to the hour level when we're doing turnaround executions. 
However, if you are leveling, sometimes you may want to look at it down to the hour level because you may have activities that are leveling because something is overloaded during a particular hour of the day. And you won't understand why it's moving if you're looking at it by shift or by day because it may seem like it's not overloaded when you're viewing it by shift or by day. Here's a more detailed example of what I'm talking about there. I've selected a TEPCO instrumentation resource, and I'm looking at the histogram for that resource by shift. I've moved over to the resource usage profile. And everything looks fine here. Our limit line is at 120 hours right there, and we don't have any red here. So everything should be fine if we level this. These activities that are falling on Friday the 22nd probably shouldn't level, right? But I'm going to zoom in to the hour and you'll see that I do have a bit of overload. These activities are actually going to level. P6 is going to try and move them because it levels down to the hour and it wants to get rid of this red by delaying activities out to the right or out to the future. And basically what happens is when we look at it back by shift, P6 is spreading the hours visually, it is. So uh, behind the scenes, we can't really tell where the overloads are. But for the entire 12-hour shift that this is broken into, it's just spreading the hours in the histogram across that shift. If I go back in and look at it by hour, what's really happening here is these gaps where the histogram bars are low are getting filled in. It's spreading the data when we look at it by shift or by day, filling in these gaps and making it look like everything's okay when behind the scenes it may not be. So just be aware of that. You may need to go in and look at your histograms by hour if you are scheduling down to the hour level and you're doing some leveling. That completes this TEP tip. Please join us for more and check out some of our other more detailed instructional videos. Thank you. Thank you.